Maybe, maybe my sultan will, this isn't my sultan, but maybe my general will say something interesting. Since we're fighting the Pope. I wish you well of the battle. A short fight and a long life after. You tell tales of your bravery. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Man, if it weren't... Hey, hold on. One second. Let's look at these spearmen. Are they wearing sandals? Are they wearing flip-flops? No, it looked for a second they were... Li no, it looks like they are wearing flip-flops. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> they got flip-flops on. That's weird. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have a beach party afterwards. I'm not I'm not one to judge, okay? You know, to each his own. That's funny. Okay, then all that's left is my cavalry. Alright, looks like I'm ready to rumble. What the hell are you guys doing over there? <laughs> okay, are you guys uh, forgetting? Did you like not get the memo that I spawned over there? Come on guys, get it together. You know, it would have been really fun to play as the Pope in this game, to be able to do that. I mean, it wouldn't exactly be fair, but I don't see why Creative Assembly couldn't let us play as the Pope, just to boss other Christians around, you know? Oh well. I guess we'll have to wait for Medieval 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I can't even think about another new Total War game with... Rome 2 coming out this fall. And come on, guys. I think yesterday, yeah, it must have been yesterday, they just released a new trailer for Rome 2 where they showed off uh, Battle of Tudorburg Forest. <laughs> that was freaking crazy. It was awesome. Okay, we're going to run our missile troops inside. Nothing fancy here, just get everybody inside, start locking it down. Then we can creep our way up towards the enemy. Yep. Okay. Who are these guys? Uh, whoever they have, yeah, Papal Guard, they're running right at me. Oh well. Maybe they're not running. Yeah, they're running at me. We can probably open up on these guys with, with our crossbows if they get into position in time. Okay, don't, you don't have to get all nice and tidy. Just worry about shooting these guys up. There's only 33 of them, so... We can actually dwindle them down pretty nicely with with a good volley from these crossbows. <laughs> it looks like they're just gonna stand there. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt them. 
But it's gonna do two things. It's gonna hurt him and it's gonna upset him. Let's get our Berbers in there. Alright, I would have liked a little bit more time to get my guys nice and lined up, but hey, what are you going to do? But main thing is, we got our archers on the walls, or at least we're getting them on the walls, and these guys are going to get shot. Oh shit, alarm clock! scared me even yeah so <laughs> uh, no big deal here we are back in action uh, very unprofessional of me I know I know Let's go ahead and uh, plop these guys right here. And everything's going to work out just nicely. I do wish I had some good uh, heavy infantry, but I don't. Some Hashashim or some Christian guard would always be nice, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, are you kidding me? Well, screw that, I'm just gonna knock this tower down. Yeah, this tower is just going to keep shooting my men. Here's here's why this tower is going to shoot my men. Because there are guys all the way over here. That makes no sense at all. Anyways, going to have to shoot this tower. Mess it up pretty good. Get these guys to back off right now. Looks like our crossbows and such have made a very good impact. These Berbers, as you'll remember, they don't have the best stats. They're actually pretty, pretty crappy. They're just about the same as Spear Militia. And these Italian Militia, Papal Guard, etc., they're a lot better. No doubt about it. I think these Papal Guard are gonna get, they're gonna make it to my crossbows, yeah. No, they're coming down here to do no, no, no they're not. I'm gonna really want to get my troops up there, but they're sort of cut off by this one unit of Papal Guard, so I don't know what to do. Might might use a might y lose. God damn it, I can't talk. Might lose a unit of crossbows here, but uh, I don't know. Oh well. I'll get these mercenary spearmen up there. Yeah, the way things are looking, I did chop down their infantry pretty nicely over here. Their general still hasn't committed to a fight yet, and they got a few units over here that aren't committed, but either way, I'm still taking them down very good, very nicely. Uh, 
Looks like we're gonna have to charge into these guys, get a good charge. Scary! <laughs> I would use dismounted Arab cavalry most of the time, except they can't form a skill from formation. So these guys are pretty okay at attacking. They got nice armor, which protects them from arrow fire very nicely, but... I don't know, they just don't have the best tactics out there. Are you kidding me? These guys still haven't made it onto the walls. It would have been nice to notice that. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh, we're some of our dudes are losing over here. Let's get my general in here. Yeah, but these guys are going to get destroyed. Pretty much at this point, they're just being routed by my arrows, running back to the town center, and then regaining their morale, then running back at me over and over again. Alright, let's see if one charge from my general. These are spear militia, so I have to be a little bit careful, but at the same time, my general's tough. I could really use one of these units being freed up. Oh, screw it, I'll just run these Berbers up there. So I gotta get these guys off the walls. They're just killing my crossbows. And I don't care, because I could recruit mercenary crossbows anytime I want. But, I mean, these guys are gonna have to be killed eventually, you know? Charging your cavalry into spears, good idea. You heard it here first, folks. I don't know. They are going to need more than 20 spearmen to take out 22 General's Bodyguard units, though. These guys really should rout, like, any second. Surprised they haven't. And these Papal Guard, tough as they are, are going to be surrounded. Yeah, look at them. They got fancy, fancy, cool little armor. This guy's about to get stabbed. Look at him. No! No! <laughs> oh, that's fun. I'm having fun. You guys having fun? I'm having some fun. Yeah, right now, today is Friday, and I got a little story for you, if you're interested. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, about last week, we had some heavy rain. I live in Chicago right now. And, uh, there was a lot of flooding that was going on. Guess what I found floating in a puddle of water? Uh, there were two coupons for buy one, get one free at Medieval Times. If you don't know what that is, it's like a place you can go, they give you dinner, and you watch dudes joust. And I figure, hey man, if it's gonna be super cheap, I'll go. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. I figure it was relevant to the topic at hand. It's usually a thing just for little kids, but... 
Yeah, we sometimes it's okay to act like a little kid, you know? <laughs> Okay, so, alright, looks like we smashed up those papal guards pretty nicely. My general can kill them once they try and run away. Now, as far as what is left, the answer would be not too much. <laughs> We don't have too many uh, melee troops anymore, which is sad, but I don't think that's going to be problematic, really. We got enough arrows to go around. I think I'll do, because these guys don't have the best angle. Move these guys right here. I think I should be able to get a good charge on these guys. Never underestimate the power of heavy cavalry charges in this game. I've... With just a unit of General's Bodyguard, one charge, I've knocked a unit of Varangian Guard from 60 men down to like 15. And if you don't know, Varangian Guard is one of the toughest melee infantry. Oh my god, yeah, just look at that. And these are spearmen, mind you. And Varangian Guard are probably one of the toughest melee units in the game. They have like, oh, what is it? An uh, attack of 20, defense of 15, I think it is. They're really good. They're the Byzantine Empire's, like, elite, elite infantry. And I just wiped him with one frontal charge of a general's bodyguard. Takes a little while to uh, get your run speed up to perform a charge, but once you do, it's, you know, game over. Those guys are done. Eh, yeah, not looking too good for you guys. <laughs> Alright, and the general might be coming for me? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe he's going to run back into the town square. That would be the safe bet for him at this point. So, pretty much we got... I don't know what these are. These could be anything. They could be Papal Guard. They could be Spear Militia or whatever. They all look the same, pretty much. So, what we need to do... Is... Uh, just march our dudes up. There should be enough spearmen just to hold the line. And that's all I need right now, just someone to hold the line. Where are these dudes going? They might be running at me, which is going to be even better, so I'll hold off on this this rush. And hey, if they're going to be walking right into me, might as well let them, you know? <laughs> uh, 
looks like they're not making their minds up very nicely. <laughs> they're kind of confused as to what's going on. Oh, and these are Pap Papal Guards, so they're going to give me a pretty good fight. I have more than enough archers and everything else to take these guys out, and then some. All it's going to be is just waiting for them to decide where they're going to plant their feet. Looks like they're going to hold up in the town square. I'll wait for the Papal Guard to decide where it wants to go. Yep, they're going to go into the town center. Okay, that's fine with me. probably work. Meanwhile, let's get our general to run here, run here, then line up right here. I don't know if I said this before, if you hold down shift you can set waypoints. I figured that little move out maybe, I don't know a year after playing Total War games, but pretty useful. So this was a good fight overall. The Pope threw me a few curveballs here and there, but I reacted to it. We lost a third of our dudes, but they were low quality troops, mercenaries and guys we can easily replace, so we'll bounce back from it very easily, very nicely. And that's all that really matters, is how well you can recover from a fight. And on paper it looks like we got hurt from this fight, but I don't think we did. Alright, so here's the plan. We're gonna lock down this road. Going to start shooting these guys with crossbows. That's going to piss them off. And they're going to either charge right at me or take the fire. If they charge right at me, I can swoop in with my general and surround them. Pretty much game over at that point. So overall, win-win situation. Yeah, these guys are in for quite some trouble. <laughs> yeah, not for nothing, I gotta say, the the armies of the Pope are a little bit smarter than Milan is. These guys haven't done anything uh, insanely stupid. But, hey, I haven't fought them that long. I've gotta give them a fair shot, you know? <laughs> It's gonna hurt a few guys. Uh, are they gonna run right for my general? That's not that's not good. Not good at all. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing.
Ideally, I would like to have more spearmen to fight these guys. But I've pretty much spent all my dudes. They're not going to be useful to charge into fight. Just as an ability to lock down choke points, you know. Spearmen are always good at that. Crossbows are always good at punching through heavily armored dudes. Okay, this guy is obviously... He definitely has a man crush on my general, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and chill back here. With the rest of my guys. I just want to whittle this guy down so that my general could actually take him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And he can at this point, but hey. Here's, here's the thing, when I play campaign games, I always catch myself loading up way heavy on archers and stuff. But that's just the thing. I love building armies that have a crap ton of archers and then maybe a small amount of really, really good melee infantry. Because if you can do that, you can come out of your fights with hardly any casualties at all. The thing about archers is that every kill you get with them is an uncontested kill. No matter how good your infantry is, you guys are going to get killed. At least a little bit, you know? But if you have good enough infantry that by the time they charge you, if they can make it to you through all your archers, they're going to they're gonna be so few numbers that they won't be able to overcome the quality of your melee troops. And right now, I don't have really high quality of melee troops, which is why I'm you know, going to lose 40% of my army this fight. But one of the benefits of having low quality infantry is that it's real easy to retrain them as well. Okay, let's get a surround on these guys. Yeah, that'll be nice. I think these guys are still gonna get shot with crossbows. Or my dudes ran out of ammo, I think. Yep, they're out of ammo. Well, they did enough work. And it's time for the general to run in and steal all the glory. <laughs> get him! Well Can I get a good charge on him? Stab these guys up. Looking good. Once I hack to pieces the rest of these generals' bodyguard, I'm gonna make a good charge in the back of these papal guard. All right, those guys are dead. Got another charge to do, guys. Come on, this is gonna break them. Getting charged from behind. That can unsettle probably pretty much any troop. <laughs> they routed before I even touched them. I'm gonna chop to pieces the rest of these guys. They, they don't deserve to live. Awesome. So, 
not for nothing, the Pope is going to be pissed off at us. We're, we're going to end up having to destroy Rome. We're going to have to burn it to the ground. This isn't just your everyday jihad we're on. We are full-scale holy war fighting to the death here.